Here you can see how vigorous of a boil that is. And uh, right now, it's only measuring 13 degrees. Um, I know the evaporation rate is causing the temperature to drop inside here. I mean, I can touch that. The heating element is actually on, um, but it's just evaporating too quickly. Um, obviously, this isn't going to get an accurate temperature, but I mean, this is very cool to the touch. Um, I've got uh, an addition funnel here that uh, whenever it uh, drops below the halfway point, I can add a little bit more. Um, uh, the fumes go up the Vigorex column. Uh, the water is able to uh, condense on all the little uh, pieces of glass that stick in there, like the little glass needles, whatever. Um, temperature here on this thermometer is reading at uh, about the same. Uh, it's about I guess 15 degrees. Um, and then just a straight uh, condenser. I can't remember what this condenser is called, but uh, I've got one of them. Uh, and then uh, that's sitting in an ice bath to keep uh, the solvent at uh, a lower temperature so that it's not all evaporated from uh, the vacuum. Uh, I don't have the vacuum all the way on. I've only got one tube hooked up. Uh, this is... I got this from uh, Deschem on eBay. Uh, it's the SHZ D3. Uh, I can hook up two lines to this. Uh, let me turn on the light. There we go. So I can hook up two lines um, like either with a Y connector or whatever and it really uh, pulls vacuum much uh, harder um, this thing is supposed to be able to get to 28.5 uh, megapascals so almost uh, yeah, it's definitely a deep vacuum um, just with warm water and the uh, the pump I am able to get uh, water to boil uh, within you know, under 10 seconds and uh, yeah, it's handy it's uh, extremely quiet um, it would be running more quiet if I had uh, the other vacuum tube hooked up but uh, yeah this is uh, working out really well for me um, this is only my second time using this uh, magnetic stir uh, heating mantle and uh, yeah it's uh, it's all working out pretty good so yeah I just wanted to record a little bit of something what I'm doing um, not doing anything illegal and just uh, cleaning up some solvent uh, that uh, it's had you know additional water added to it, and, uh, various other, I'll say metallic salts that have been uh, from like rinses uh, from the Buckner funnels. So yeah, I'm just cleaning this stuff up, and uh, and then I've got uh, some. Uh, 3A molecular sieves that I'll be using to uh, make this 100% uh, anhydrous. But uh, that's it. I don't have much uh, to say. I just wanted to do a quick little video here. Thanks for watching. And uh, in an upcoming video, I will actually be doing a full review on this. Um, I'm going to set everything up so that it's actually a much more coordinated video than all my other videos that kind of suck. So, uh, anyhow, yeah, uh, that's boiling very rigorously at uh, 14 degrees. Uh, the current temperature outside is about 34, I believe. So, I mean, it's almost uh, freezing. Uh, I should say 34 Fahrenheit. Um, that's reading in Celsius. So, 
yeah, that's what I'm up to. Uh, I got about uh, two liters yesterday from this, so hopefully I get through this all by tonight. I'm, I'm freezing. I'm really not enjoying myself too much. Normally I enjoy doing all my chemistry stuff, no matter how mundane it is, but uh, yeah. Anyhow, thanks for watching. This video is already too long. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for...